Welcome back guys, you're watching today's Platinum and in this video we're going to do a Bitcoin price prediction. Uh, looking at my price prediction for 2018, looking towards the end of the year, what is Bitcoin's price going to be? So if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe for more daily cryptocurrency videos. We put out two videos per day, Monday through Friday, and we also uh, are getting into some online business content for you guys, working on that currently because that's what uh, I do a lot on my own time. So if you guys are interested in any of that, feel free to stick around and subscribe uh, for more content in the future. Um, but also we do have a premium trading program if you guys are interested. That is the first link in the description. So go ahead and check that out if you guys are interested in becoming uh, cryptocurrency traders. So getting into the actual price prediction for Bitcoin, um, the market is kind of at a a weird stage I guess you could say so uh, this is what the graph looks like basically uh, since 2015 um, we've clearly gone exponentially parabolic uh, towards the upside and you know we've crashed pretty hard from that and are left currently with a valuation of around seven thousand and four hundred dollars uh, so where exactly do I see the market going um, at this point so some of the few things that I want to touch on first off is the adoption that we're seeing of <clears throat> cryptocurrency and blockchain technology in general. We are seeing a ton of adoption um, in large spaces, uh, large organizations adopting cryptocurrency. So uh, on that side of things, we are working towards <clears throat> moving this market to a higher valuation. However, I think there's a few things that are that's holding um, Bit not only Bitcoin, but the entire cryptocurrency space back from say reaching a uh, a price point and a market capitalization from where we had uh, Bitcoin being at around 20,000 so at that point we were at about an 800 to 9 I think about 800 million dollar uh, market cap or billion excuse me so uh, you know we were certainly approaching the 1 trillion dollar market cap point but uh, we couldn't get there and then obviously we have fallen down and we are left with our current price point. So um, you guys can kind of see, you know, we have a bit of a trend, you know, a support, I guess you could say, moving upward, showing some some slow growth upward. However, uh, you know, it's just it's happened all too quickly. You know, we've had this large crash all too quickly. Go ahead and delete that. Try to get a straight line for you guys. Uh, but yeah, this crash has just come way too quickly, and honestly, I'm not sure if the market is going to be able to recover from it. Uh, what I do expect to happen is uh, most likely we will uh, continue to stabilize around this point that we're at now. Um, I do believe that, and once that happens, I think that we're just going to move horizontal for a good amount of time. And the reason for that is because normally with Bitcoin, after... After we've seen some some large growth and then a retracement, I'll try to zoom in here for you guys. Um, normally, after we have seen, you know, in the history of Bitcoin's prices, we see large retrace, a large uh, growth in Bitcoin's price. Um, you know, kind of moving sideways for a while. Uh, you know, usually a good amount of time, and then you know we see an explosion in price, and then we drop down, move sideways, see another explosion in price, and then drop down move sideways more explosion in price drop down so I think this market still has a lot of room to grow I understand that we've gone parabolic we've had an a crazy amount of gains in not only mostly in 2017 but uh, we have had some large uh, growth in 2018 even though we did have the large decline in the beginning of the year we still had some large growth okay when we reached that point where we uh, bounced off of around uh, 5900 we basically doubled bitcoin's price and went almost back to 12k so uh, we've had some large growth in bitcoin not only this year but mostly in 2017 and i do believe that growth can continue in the future uh, the problem is i think we are going to need to move sideways for a while because the growth that we've seen was so exponential compared to uh, past growth that we have seen in bitcoin's price that I think uh, the overall consensus on Bitcoin is that it's it's overvalued for the mark current cryptocurrency market and the current uh, stage at, at which it is in. I think we're still in the stage of development. 
um, you know, even the blockchain projects, the blockchain technology that's getting adopted by large companies, Amazon, Google, uh, Walmarts, companies like that, even the technology that's getting adapted by those companies uh, is still not in the stage where it's actually being used. So I definitely think we still need to just slow down and move sideways for a while. Uh, obviously, we'll have volatility as we always do with Bitcoin, but I do think we need to stay down for a while before we shoot back up again. A lot of people are expecting or claiming that cryptocurrency may go um may lead to a bull market in the summer and honestly um it's still possible okay we we kind of have a wedge formation in bitcoin's price currently which is what leads most people to believe that however it really depends on first off if bitcoin holds the level where it's at uh, about 7400 currently and if it does not hold that level then i don't believe we're going to see any bull movement uh too much bull movement throughout the summer uh what i really can see happening is is if um if we if we stay at this level and then start to move back up then i could expect to break out and possibly uh go near the 10,000 to 12,000 dollar mark but regarding the rest of the year even if we get up to that point i want to see the price come back down and then go back up at again and repeat that pattern for a while and the reason being is because i don't think this market can handle another exponent uh, parabolic and exponential growth like we had so quickly um in december of 2017 and guys historically i, I want to put this out there that historically uh, bitcoin's price has always gone parabolic towards the end of every single year okay you can see it in the end of 2016 shot all the way up above a thousand dollars came crashing back down to around $700, so lost almost half its valuation, about 40, 30%. And then if you scroll back to the end of 2015, we saw a growth there, pulled back into January. And then even scrolling back, um, you know, we, we actually, the chart's a little weird because they started in 2015, but Bitcoin's price was actually available before this. But guys, just showing you that Bitcoin, you normally does see uh, periods of growth towards the end of the year. So if we do have any growth for the rest of this year, uh, large growth, I want to see it towards the end of the year. I think we need time to allow the market to stabilize and recover from the huge loss that we suffered in January. And I think part of the reason why the market is so volatile currently is because the overall consensus is that Bitcoin is overvalued and was was for sure overvalued at 20K for the time that we are currently in with cryptocurrency and the entire space being um, n not not developed enough yet so um, we will have to see what happens but honestly I'm putting my price prediction at around fifteen thousand dollars for the end of 2018 i think that gives bitcoin uh, room to grow room for that uh, growth towards the end of the year but i think it gives it a stabilized growth uh, that will hopefully allow for uh, very large growth in the future okay we've heard people talk about bitcoin at 50k 100k 250k even a million dollars one day uh, talking about 2020, 2021, 2022, 2025. Uh, guys, it's 2018 and we're moving into 2019 next year. So if if we just go right back up to, you know, 20, 25K by the end of the year, that is some huge growth that we're going to see. And, you know, it's almost guaranteed that we're going to see a huge drop in price like we've seen um, this year and all the years previous. And I just feel like that is not healthy for the market and that scares a lot of people away from the market. A few things that are, I feel that will help the market in the future is government regulation. Uh, I think that will allow a lot of new money to flow in as well as uh, overall just more development, uh, give it time for all of these projects to develop more and actually release um, you know, whatever product they actually have. One big thing that uh, you know, I wanna touch on is for example, all of these blockchain infrastructure projects, for example, EOS, I've I've been you know talking about EOS and I invested in EOS. I remember a year ago um, was investing in trading EOS, and they still don't even have their main product out. It comes out actually June in June. I'm pretty sure 
but just showing that uh, these coins and these projects still don't even have a working product and that's the problem with this market um, I understand they are startups it's exciting but uh, we definitely have to see some capitalization on what all of these projects are hoping and promising to do because if not then that will leave a very bad um, taste in everyone's mouth and unfortunately I do think we will see a large drop in everything if uh, things start to go wrong so um, I do want to see stable growth instead of parabolic growth um, you know I'm all for gains guys of course being a trader uh, I would you know it would be great just to see Bitcoin tomorrow morning wake up and see it at uh, 20,000 but to be honest it's not healthy for the market and it's just going to make matters worse if we just see another parabolic growth even at the end of this wedge if we just somehow explode and shoot straight up because currently you know today and yesterday we have been holding the support um, on the bottom line of this wedge so if we hold the support and we start to move up within the next week or two uh, the next month actually and we break out of that and we start to move up um, you know, hopefully we only move up, you know, tops to 12 K and then move down again and then move, you know, start to be, start to trade in a, a bit of a channel instead of a uh, trend. So, uh, that's what I'm looking at 15 K by the end of the year, hopefully uh, max, I would say 25 K obviously that's a pretty large range, but uh, I really am thinking that. I don't think Bitcoin has, you know, the entire market has it in it to see another large growth like we did uh, during December. I just think that the market is not ready for that and it's not going to be until at least 2019 uh, after such a parabolic growth. So, um, you know, 15K, uh, I'm obviously not a fortune teller and this is cryptocurrency, so we really have no idea what's going to happen in the market, but uh, that is what I'm looking at and that is what I am hopefully looking to see by the end of this year. I think 15K is a very reasonable price to be at by the end of 2018. That would give it about about 100% growth from where we're at now. So good price point to have, still large growth, and hopefully will remain, give the market some more stability and more reliability. So Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave your price predictions down in the description. Um, I, I'm interested to hear what people are going to be saying. Bitcoin to zero, Bitcoin to 50K, and everything in between. So definitely interested to hear you guys' uh, price predictions. So leave them in the description. If you guys aren't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe. And also leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Have a good one, guys.